That's a nice barrel you got there. Bonjour everyone, Pentof here today for a new video in which we're going to talk about the O47 which should be in the shop. I don't know yet if it is. It should be based on my information today. Uh, I prepared my videos before but you should see this video when the tank is on. And what is interesting about the tank and what makes me want to do an in-shop video is probably the fact that this tank is the only Blitz Nation tank from tier 8 and the only Blitz Nation tank uh, above tier 7 if I'm not mistaken. And that gives it something a little bit cooler, considering that it has its own status among the Blitz uh, different nations that have been implemented in the past, French, German, etc. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to see or trying to prove you if this tank is worth it or not. In my opinion, this tank is truly worth it. Let me explain to you briefly why. First thing first, the gun. The gun is kind of good and average at the same time because on some points it's great and on some others it's just meh. Let me explain to you. For the M time, 3.4 seconds is quite good. To be fair, it's considering it's a medium tank, it's really, really good. I think the only one that are better are probably the T-34 too, but that's logic because that, that's what is uh, the specificity of the Chinese line. The aim time, 3.4 seconds, as we told you, gun dispersion 0 0.33, this is average. The damage per minute is fine, 2.2k, it's not broken, but not bad either. It's in between, but in between plus, let's say. The reload time is 6.06 .06 seconds, and the average penetration, we are playing with a medium that struggles a little bit penetrating its targets when it comes to the regular shell, only 190mm. But don't worry, when you're playing against tier 7, you will penetrate everything, and when you're playing against tier 9, you will have to switch to gold shell 260 millimeters which should be enough to do the job average damage 225 that's fine not op but not bad either that's fine average and the gun depression the gun depression what is really interesting about this tank is the eight degrees which will allow you to be extremely flexible when it comes to the down but we're going to talk about it in the armor section for the turret extremely armored one thing really important those wings are weak spots if people shoot here they will penetrate that's really something you need to have in mind because most of the time people don't know that and they don't try to shoot here because they expect not to do any damage whereas in fact if you shoot here you will penetrate and do damage uh, for the mobility, an amazing one, amazing, literally, this tank is really, really fast. You will go around 50, 52 kilometers per hour when you properly equip it, which makes you a good tank to push with, or at least to take advanced position at the beginning of different games. And that's something really lovely about it, because as an aggressive player, I really like my tanks to have a good mobility. Finally, for the turret Travis speed, the tracks travel speed sorry 56.42 so yeah definitely the mobility overall is great let's talk about the equipments real quick first i go for the gun rama why the gun rama because the gun rama is necessary you could go for the calibrated shell but just to get nine millimeters more of armor piercing pff, no i'll not go for it i would rather go for more damage per minute and try maybe to aim a little bit longer on my enemies to be able to sneak my shot after i go for the enhanced gun lane drive to reduce my aim time and finally vertical stabilizer to reduce it even more here you could switch to refine gun but most of the time when you shoot with your 047 as you're in movement it's better to go for this as you have plus 15 percent to accuracy during tank and turret movement after the defense system because i'm not gonna ram anybody improved assembly because uh, it's either you have a, a way too strong armor and nobody will penetrate you or it's weak spot and they will penetrate you therefore having more armor is not something that will make a change on the tank so you would rather go for the improved assembly and finally the toolbox to uh because an strike is useless less on this tank improved optics because i'm not a, a tank destroyer engine accelerator because i told you the mobility is great and finally i am consumable because it's better when you are using adrenaline there you go for the armor profile of the tank and as you can see it's really weird it's really weird for multiple reason the first one is that your tank Turret is exclusively gun mantlet. It's impossible for people to penetrate you if they shoot that area. It's the same for this here, even if it seems like it's a weak spot because it's only 70 millimeters of armor, you can't do damage shooting there. Now, where it becomes interesting, those wings that are weak spot. Weak spot, but still quite armored because we're talking about 175 millimeters of armor. But even if you have this, 
This is weak spot for most heavies and tank destroyers at tier 8. Don't worry, as soon as you use your 8 degrees of gun depression, it's gonna be better. When it comes to the armor profile, you are quite armored for a medium, and that's impressive that, it, uh, that this tank combines both a great armor profile and a great mobility. 200 millimeters and not angle, because when you angle it, you can actually climb up to even more. You also have the lower part of the hole, which is easier to penetrate, but... Don't fool yourself, nobody shoots there. Most of the time, everybody's gonna shoot that area. You also have some spaced armor on the side, which allows your tank to be a good one when it comes to side scrape. So that's a tactic you can use effectively with it. Now, eight degrees of gun depression, as I told you, when you are like this, you become really a strong medium. And that's really what makes it a good tank in my opinion, and that's why you should buy it. Look at this, you increase your armor on your weak spot, well, here it's already impossible to penetrate so it doesn't change anything and look at this 270 millimeters of armor so we are nearly impenetrable for everything if they don't use gold shell and if they are not tank destroyers so yeah a tank that is made for all down and side scrape all right fellas let's go for a live battle and see what's gonna happen I hope uh, we are gonna be top tier and we are top tier perfect perfect so the main playstyle with the 047 is probably the L down. Let's say that you side scrape when you literally don't have other choices. But if you have the choice between side scraping and L down, you want to go for L down. If we take a look at what they have in front, there is an FCM Indian Panzer. We have a Type 62 and B. I don't feel like going on the left side is the best if we don't have support. It seems like the Scorpion is coming with us, so we might be able to hold the flank. So we're going to give it a try. We're going to give it a try. Unfortunately, they have two tier 8 that are supposed to go all on our side if they play not correctly it should be fine we're gonna see we're gonna see okay it seems like they have the whole team here yeah no if they have the whole team i'm not gonna try anything we don't have the team with us so we're gonna play it in all down but from uh from a different angle we're gonna try to to no, we're not gonna go with the type if we do we're gonna we're gonna get crushed okay we try to sneak a first shot there First shot from the reach line. I don't know yet if I'm spotted, but I don't don't think I am. There is the ICU. We're first gonna focus on tanks. We actually can shoot without being uh, destroyed back. So there we go for the SU-152. He's out. And there we go for the Black Prince. We managed to destroy his tracks. We're gonna kill him as well. As you can see for the moment, I'm trying to show only my turret to my opponents. That's the best way for me to actually be able to bounce. Look at this, straight into the gun mantlet, as I told you, which is one of the most armored part of the tank. There we go for a shot on the Smasher. We're gonna pop some adrenaline. And as you can see, he used or tried to use some gold channel on us and it didn't work. Unfortunately, I turned around a little bit too much and that's a problem when you're playing with the 047 you need to stay straight in front of your opponents if you don't they will penetrate you quite easily so there we go let's try to find an another angle to attack uh, problem is the smasher i don't know if the guy's gonna come for me or not uh, you know what we're gonna we're gonna take a, a close oh elsing got away elsing got away so we're gonna focus on the smasher that's an easy target for us boys that's an easy target there we go he missed we have the time to shoot twice before he reloads so there we go for the first there we go for the second i'm gonna take an another l down position right there he doesn't even even bother with us he really wants to get the scorpion g and unfortunately for him how he missed the scorpion g if i was him i would drive crazy right now there we go for the l sync and we ram it uh, book. that's not the best rammer by the way the, this tank we're playing right now is not the best rammer and there we go, 2.4k assisting damage, one kill, but I don't think we did quite a lot of damage. We might go for an another game here just to make it a little bit more interesting than what we than what we had here. Yes, it was a first class, but that was not a lot of damage because we, we got a lot of spotting damage thanks to the right equipments, which is the improved objects. We're gonna go for another one. All right, so we go for the second one, guys. I'm live battle, by the way. I'm wiggling the 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 mouse to show you but the cool thing here is that we're still on an all down map uh, okay my team decided to go on the right side why not uh, left side sorry 
Uh, but we're not top tier, and that's crazy, or at least that's cool to show you how the tank performs when you're not top tier. So there we go for it. It doesn't change the playstyle, by the way. Maybe one thing I forgot to tell you about the tank, when you're in all down and reloading, try to move a little bit your tank frontward, backward, frontward, backward, because if you don't move, people will be able to aim at your wings on the turret and therefore penetrate you quite easily. And you don't want to get penetrated quite easily, quite easily because uh, it's going to ruin the pleasure for you. So there we go. I'm pretty sure the others, uh, the enemies are, are going to be on the other side of the map, like on the, uh, on the right side for us. Therefore, pushing through, we are probably going to spot maybe the T20 defender that didn't that didn't move from the from the spawn, as it's a really really slow tank. But hey, who cares? There we go. Where is the mighty one? Ah, actually, the T20 defender went really, really far. Not a problem, boys. Not a problem. There we go. Let's just wait for the VK to do a mistake. And there we go. The first shot of the battle. We're going to try to hide a little bit. Can we maybe sneak in another one? Oh, come on. I was unlucky. Oh. Okay, they are here. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. So there we go. We're going to pop some adrenaline, guys. We're going to pop some adrenaline. And we're probably going to pop as well our mighty uh mighty heat shell on the t20 defender yeah he tries sh he, he tries a shot on us and we bounced him straight into the turret as i told you all down is the goddamn key i'm expecting the t20 defender to reload anytime soon yeah perfect perfect he missed and there we go if the t20 defender is retreating that's probably because the guy know he's reloading as he knows he's reloading that's the perfect time for us to have some fun uh, unfortunately, we did not manage to have fun. Rip. Oh, the driver is hit. Let's recap the driver then. Uh, I'm wondering where are all the enemies? I mean, that's really weird how they split themselves. I mean, I'm not judging, but that's weird. There we go for a shot. 260 millimeters of penetration with each shell should be enough to do the job. Oh, okay, T44, you get this? Yes, you do. Perfect, perfect. For the moment, all down. And that's all I have to say about the tank, to be fair. I mean, the playstyle is not really hard. Look at this. Taking it in the turret, bouncing straight away. There we go again for a shot. I'm going to try to hide. Uh, I'm going to take it in the, in the turret, bouncing again. There we go. There is the WZ. Yeah, here I did not manage to hide the, the right part of the tank, unfortunately. Perfect. Oh, shame, 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 shame. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna bother too much. Four, three, two. Okay, doesn't care about me or does he? Oh no. Three, two. I need to be careful. I need to be careful, but I kind of want to do my damage as well. There we go, we track him down. He's not gonna take care of us. Can we get the kill? And oh, shame on us. But it went perfectly fine. All down all the time, as you can see, all the bounces straight into the upper part of my turret, which is kind of logic. And then another first class, because nobody plays that tank, because it's so rare that it deserves some love, and you should buy it. In definitive, this tank is worth it, in my opinion. It should come around 7.5k gold. If that's the case, it's worth it. If it's in crates, not worth it. And if it's above 10k gold, not worth it as well. This is a good collector. You want to have it in your garage. Hope you enjoyed. If that's the case, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. And I'm going to see you soon for a new video.